Breaking news. This is so impressive. You can now code like a professional without even knowing an ounce of code. Wait, what? Now that might not make sense. Confused? But after you watch this video, you'll see exactly why that's true. And this really is a true game changer by Canva. I've been able to create interactive prompts databases, interactive maps, beautiful user interfaces, and real interactive websites, all with just a simple prompt. If you're not using these Canva apps, you're missing out, bro. And so what I'm talking about today is Canva code. And what you're gonna be able to do is mind blowing. There's a link in the description to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. And if you haven't seen this video yet, make sure you definitely check that one out as well. It's all about the new releases in Canva Create. Now, once you're in Canva, the first thing you wanna do is make sure over here on the left-hand side that you select Canva AI. Once Canva AI is selected, now you're gonna see right here in the prompt box or right below it, it's called Code For Me. Now, this is where things really get impressive. As I scroll down, we could see right off the bat, we're gonna get all these pretty cool examples examples that we could try for ourselves and really put the code to the test. But what I want to do today is show you where this can really shine when it comes to a few specific features that are going to blow your mind. Now, as a quick example, look at this amazing prompt hub I built all with this very one simple prompt. Create an interactive mini app for a prompts database for AI images. This is just a game changing thing. Now, right off the bat, now look at this. Look how clean and nice this UI is. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's all interactive. Search bar, filtering all different styles by newest. Okay, if I go back to styles, all these specific categories, we have the hashtags, scrolling down, prompt, prompt. Let's keep going down. All of these amazing prompts, it's gonna give me multiple pages. Then on the left-hand side, I can even update things. So as a quick example, if I wanted to change the color scheme, add a prompt, whatever, I could do that over here in the bottom left-hand corner. Now again, if I want to select add a prompt in the top right-hand corner, I can even add my own prompts. So for example, if you have any of my prompts databases, you can come into any of these, open any of these prompts up, and copy and paste the actual prompts and even the images and add those into your own Canva prompts hub website. And to help you make money and monetize your creative I definitely recommend watching this video as well because you could do the same thing within Canva code and really monetize your Canva creations just like I demonstrate in this video right here. For the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. So let's go ahead and try the same exact thing in real time. I have the same exact prompt I used earlier today. I really want to do this in real time with all of you. Create an interactive mini app for a prompts database for AI images. Now, it could be anything you want specifically. Let's go ahead and now submit this. Now, instantly it goes to work. You can see it's already generating the lines of code. Now watch this. While this is thinking, I'm gonna open up multiple windows of Canva code to really show you the true power and some of the most creative and unique things you could do. For example, what we're doing right now is a mini app or a mini prompt hub database, but we can also do a full prompts website, an interactive dashboard with maps of your local area or any area, a complete website for a brand new company, an online fitness app, playable video games. Then when it's all said and done, you can even add it to an existing Canva design. I'm going to show you a few of these amazing examples. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the progress we're already making on our new prompts database. You can see right away, 76 lines of code are already being generated. So while that one's thinking, let's go ahead and try one more. Now, this is going to be one of the most impressive ones. Now, to be fair, I haven't tried all of these in real time. I'm doing this for the first time with all of you right now. So what I'm going to copy in is this right here, an interactive dashboard website. Find all the lifetime fitness gyms in Houston, Texas. Let's see what happens with this. Wait until you see this. Okay, now right off the bat, here it is right here. Look at this. Lifetime Fitness Gyms, Houston, Texas area, the amenities, the hours, the locations. Now, these are the actual locations. Wow, we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, that is so cool. As I scroll down, it gives me a real map, and that is all five locations. Now, look at this. This truly is interactive because I can move the map around, and I can scroll in or out, view details. Let's see what happens when I click it. Wow, just like that. Look at this. It did do it. It gave me everything I was wanting, and in fact, it gives me more subcategories, amenities, classes, membership, and gallery. Oh, man, I am impressed. Let's check out two other ones I did. Now, look at this right here. 
for this one, I said a supercar racing game. And look at this, we're gonna get our cars we can choose. Pretty impressive, the UI on this, and simply select start race. Oh, it's already started. And look, I can move my car around and avoid these other cars. Okay, let's play it again. All right, here we go, playing again. And look, in the top left-hand corner, it's actually keeping track and now if I hit the car, it's a game over. But look, up in the top left-hand corner, it's actually keeping track of my score. Not sure how it's being calculated, but that's pretty cool. Now, this is the one I'm very happy about. We started with this one in the very beginning. Interactive mini app for a prompts database for AI images. Now, check this out. This looks even better than the one I was showing you earlier. This is pretty fantastic. Let's see if I type in abstract. If I say abstract, automatically it appears right here. Beautiful. Popular tags. I can filter it by all sorts of styles. Awesome. That is pretty impressive. Let's see what happens if I select add prompt. I can actually add a prompt. Let's try that. What I'm going to do is go to my AI influencers database. Now this database contains nothing but amazing looking AI influencers. This update is so fire. Let's go ahead and expand any of these like this one right here. And now let's go ahead and just copy this whole entire prompt. Go back over into Canva paste in the whole entire prompt title. We're going to say AI influencer, iPhone selfie shot. Okay. iPhone selfie shot. We're going to go with my style. Since it's not there for now, I'll go to photo realistic and I can add a tag and I'll just say AI influencer and add a brand new tag while I'm at it and now save the prompt. Okay. Success. It's been saved. And look at this AI influencer prompt. If I click to open it up, there it is. That is the legit real prompt. Oh, wow. Impressive. Now let's take things to a new level again over here. In the bottom left hand corner let's say that let's say add a new category and i said add a new category called ai influencers okay let's go ahead and submit that and now that way we can add all of our own specific categories from any of the current prompts that we have while this one is doing this we'll go back to our lifetime fitness gym one and it's still coding 600 and about 90 lines so far wow impressive now while that's thinking let's go ahead and try two more so that way we're going to have multiple canva codes going at the same time but for this one, let's see what happens if you don't have a website, you have a brand new company, and you want to build a new website completely from scratch. So back over here in Canva AI, select code for me, and now let's paste this in. An interactive website for an AI consulting startup company, clean, modern, colors of blue and purple. Okay, we're going to have multiple Canva codes going at the same time. It's like we're becoming a real professional coder but we're really not. Okay, so check it out. We're gonna have multiple going at the same time. I can keep going back and forth, back and forth. You can see the code. It's doing hundreds of lines in real time. Okay, now this other one just wrapped up. My prompt explorer. Remember, I said add a new category for AI influencers. Let's go ahead and open up my styles. There it is. AI influencers. And look at this. Not only did it add it, it actually gave me specific prompts for it. So we have all these tabs up here. We have more and more tags and it's completely all interactive. Amazing. And again, I could add a new prompt and just keep adding more and more prompts. I can also up in the top right hand corner, if I selected use in a design, I can actually use this specific website in a design and give multiple people access to it. Okay, so what we're doing is really taking this to a whole new level. Interactive prompts website, prompts hub, six pages total. First page is a dashboard of everything, but now I'm gonna give it specific pages and I told it to add prompts for each of my categories. And right away, it's going to work. So I did notice that the new website did just wrap up and from the looks of it, it's incredible. Now, before we check that out, let's try one last one. An online fitness app, track everything in one spot. Very simple, okay? Let's generate that one. But now, take a look at this. Remember, brand new startup company for a new website AI consulting firm. It even provided its own name, Nexus AI. Look at this right here. Look how clean and amazing this looks. It gave me my specific gradient color scheme, a mix between the purple and the blue. As I scroll down, wow, this is incredible. I mean, this is a pretty long one. So this not only can build you a one-page dashboard, it can build pages upon pages. Just speak to Canva code like I'm speaking to you right now. I want this next page for AI strategy to say this, 
and look like this, and it's going to do it. So you can basically now code by just simply speaking. And that's specifically why I think this little microphone down here in this prompt box is actually really beneficial because I can do it just the way I described to you. Okay, so now these next two I'm going to show you are incredibly impressive. Now, this first one is going to be for the all-in-one fitness tracking app. But look at this right here. This looks amazing. Very fun, and interactive. I have everything right here. Steps, calories, water, sleep. Okay, impressive. And then even down here to all of my workouts. But now let's take a look at our prompts website. Now, remember, this one is a lot more detailed. This is actually a true website. And right off the bat, it did everything I wanted. Look at this first page, the prompt dashboard, and it gave me everything I wanted, all of the categories. And now check this out right here. After you select use in the design, look at this right here. I can actually do just that. Here is how it's going to look in an actual real design. Pretty amazing and impressive how this all looks. This is how my real website is actually going to look if I actually did publish it. And I can do that on the web. Now, this is going to be desktop. Let's check out mobile. That is why I love this in Canva code. 100% fully responsive, AKA mobile friendly, and just look how clean and easy this UI interface is. I mean, this might be one of the ones I love the most so far. And if you're ready to publish it up in the top right-hand corner, you can select publish website, okay? You can include the navigation menu. I get a real website URL, which if I click the pencil, I can actually change the URL and then publish the website. Here are some additional published settings. But once I actually do publish the website, I can then provide access to it for other people to use. And in the future, you can even monetize it in which I will create a video to show you exactly how to do just that. And so there you have it, Canva code at its finest. Now, this is more of an introductory video. We can really take things to the next level by more comprehensive and thorough prompts. So if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make a second or even third one really showing you how to take a prompts website to the next level and even monetize it for future use. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.